heard you say Meet you in the long grass Something good at long last And we're away this is the astrological update for Aquarius for the whole of July 2016. Now this month it's essential that you look after yourself. The new moon is offering you an opportunity to get back in touch with your health and well-being. It's urging you to take care of the details for a big reward. Probably if you do put the effort and energy into looking care after yourself, caring for yourself, looking at what's out of balance in your life, you should, fingers crossed, find it much better and easier to fix this month. The new moon is in your position of health and well-being, as is the sun conjunct Mercury. There could be a conversation with someone, maybe a health professional, maybe a fitness guru, but somebody that helps you sort out anything that's been bothering you in those areas. You're also seeking some kind of resolution when it comes to your spirituality. There may be a shift, you may change your views, but be careful that you don't become too kind of extreme in any spiritual view there's, there's a chance that you are seeking to heal something within yourself and you may go too far in a single direction now on the 12th things ease up a bit as venus the planet of love is entering your position of relationships obviously this is great news you are able to share your feelings with people it's great for drawing love to you if you're not in a relationship you're still able to have very easy friendships and great times with people close to you. Other people are very drawn to your energy. And with Mercury conjunct Venus on the 16th, you're able to persuade people of anything with your charm and you have a great way of communicating that is accepting of other people and you want to bring harmony into all conversations. Look out on the 19th when we have a full moon for a kind of spiritual experience. It may be that you get a message from someone if you meditate you might might find it's much much clearer or if, if you're connected to anything on the spiritual or psychic realm it should be fully fully tuned up on the 19th it could be you also might find that you want to if you find yourself for instance wanting to get drunk on that day there may be a more of a temptation to lose yourself than usual so be a bit careful of that other extreme there may be a secret revealed it's a, a day of mystery for you anyway but some great wisdom should come out of it on the 20th, Mercury and Venus trine Saturn. It's a great day for going out. If you're single, there's a chance that you're going to mix with people that are very grounding for you and there could be somebody you meet that's quite serious about connecting with you. If you're in a relationship, again, if you go out and it's, I don't know, to the cinema, to a concert or something where there's lots of people, whatever floats your boat, again, it's good for the relationship. The sun enters your position of relationships as well on the 22nd. And this enables you to feel more confident about yourself and about other people. You're also appreciating the people in your life and other people are appreciating you. But of course, it's very important as you're going to be such a love magnet to decide what it is that you want to draw into your life. Uranus is going retrograde, which could bring about an unexpected conversation from the past is reignited. And you may even come up with an idea that you had in the past that was pure genius that you could implement in your life now. It's a time really where you'll be feeling things intensely, you'll be connecting to people intensely, but you're very magnetic and you're very exciting this month. So make the most of it. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.